Hello everyone. We are discussing how can we use OAuth tokens with Jmeter. We are using Google APIs for this task. In the first part of this video, we saw how can we generate Google Access tokens using Jmeter. In this video, we are going to use how can we use the generated access token to perform the operation. We are going to upload the files on the Google Drive using Jmeter. We will use Google Drive API with OAuth tokens to complete the task. This is my Google account and I need to open Google credentials page. This is the API's credentials page. Here you can see the OR 2.0 client IDs which we have generated in the last video. We are going to use same credentials in this video. First, we need to open OAuth consent screen. Now here, we need to add a test user. We are going to same test user that is our gmail id now user has permission to use the api as well as access token now i need to enable the api we are going to use Google Drive API, so I need to enable the API first. This is our Google Drive API. And I need to enable this. Now the API is enabled, so uh, I can use the access token to upload the files on the Google Drive. Now first, I need to generate an authorization code. This is the gate API to generate the authorization code. The API needs to be used only once. We do not need to generate authorization code again and again. So this gate API needs certain parameters. First is client ID. This is my client ID, my redirect URI is localhost, response type is code because we need authorization code as, a out, as an output of this API and the scope is Google Drive auth URL because we are going to use the access token to upload the files on Google Drive so we need permissions of Google Drive API. Access type is offline because we, we are going to generate refresh token that we will use later to generate access tokens. Now I am going Now the URL has been created. The response of this URL will be the redirect URL which is localhost and in this URL we will get our authorization code. I am going to copy this request and open in the browser. Now here I am going to select my Google account. It redirects me on the localhost because the redirect URL is localhost and this is the code which we need for the next API call. Now I am going to run this 
API request in the JMeter. I have added the thread group and a sampler that is HTTP request. This is the server name and path is slash token. The request method is post and protocol is HTTPS. Now we need to add all the parameters here. Now I'm going to add a listener that is view results tree. So if there will be any error, I'm able to see in the listener. Now I need to run this test plan. This is the response data. Access token and refresh token. Both tokens are generated. Now I'm going to add another HTTP request. It is for next post API call. We are going to use refresh token in this API call. This is the server name. Protocol is HTTPS. Request method is post. And path is slash token. Now I am adding the rest of the parameters. This API call is same as the previous API call. I need to add all the values here. Well, the refresh token which we are going to pass in this call, it is used to generate access token. So, access token can be expired in one hour, but we can use a refresh, refresh token for future use and it does not expire. It will only be expired if we have revoked client ID and client secret key or if we have not used the refresh token up to the six months. So that's why we can always generate an access token using refresh token. I'm going to run the test plan. And the response is success. We have generated an access token using refresh token. It will be expired in one hour, so we can use the access token before that. We have generated another access token and you can see we can always generate uh, an access token using refresh token. Now I'm going to add another HTTP request because we are going to add, we are going to upload the file on Google Drive using this access token. This is the Google Drive API server name and this is the path. Request method is post and protocol is HTTPS. Now I need to add the file path there so given file will be uploaded on the google drive now i am going to give the path of the file which i want to upload on my google drive This is my Google Drive. And you can see there is only one file here. So I'm going to upload this or.png. Now I am going to add a header manager. So I need to add the authorization token here.
parameter name is authorization and value is bearer and the access token we just generated this is the access token we just generated so I am going to use here and now I am going to run this test plan so this file will be uploaded on the Google Drive the request is success and you can see the response data file has been uploaded yes you can see the file is uploaded but its name is untitled because we have not sent the metadata with the post request call we need to send the metadata json if we want the same name on the google drive so i am going to add metadata json in the body yeah this is the body data part here i have used the name and mime type the name is org.png and mime type is image slash png because it is an image file now this is the path of the org.png because i am going to send this file data in base64 so this groovy function will change the file in the base64 data and it will be sent using jmeter now in the header manager I need to add another uh, parameter that is content type because we are going to send form data so I need to add multi part form data as a content type this is the content type for multi part form data jmeter file is the boundary name so we have used this boundary name here in the body data it is the starting and ending of the multi-part data so we have used this boundary here in the body data I am going to run this test plan it is also success and I am able to upload the file with the correct name that is odd.png if I check my google drive here the file has been uploaded with the correct name Now I am going to upload another file that is mp3 this is file.mp3 so I am going to change the path of the file first I need to change the name in the metadata .json and then the mime type that is application slash mp3 now I am going to change the file path in the groovy function I am running the test plan currently there is no file on the google drive no mp3 file on the google drive now the mp3 file has been uploaded I need to check on my google drive you can see file.mp3 has been uploaded here now I am going to make this request automated because we cannot generate an access token every time and we cannot paste it manually in this API call so I am going to store this access token in the variable and I am going to use the variable in this HTTP request call so this whole process will be automated once this regular expression will work so I will use this expression to retrieve the token and then I will use the token in the next API call so this value I am going to change it with the regular expression this is my regular expression now I am going to test it you can see the match count is 1 so it has clearly matched the token so I am going to use this expression in the regexp extractor 
the variable name is token and this is my regular expression and match number is also one because there are no multiple matches there is only one match so I'm going to use match number one now I need to change this value and I'm going to use the variable token because the access token will be stored in this variable now I've removed the mp3 file and I'm going to run both API calls again so first API call will store the access token and second will use the access token as a variable you can see the access token has been generated in the first API call and in the next API call the file has been uploaded because we have used the access token in the second API call now in response data you can see the file has been this is the access token and the next call file has been uploaded and if you check on the Google Drive we can also see the uploaded file there so we have made this whole process automated we do not need to copy and paste token every time in the upload API call we just we are just using the regular expression extracted to extract the token and we are using it in the next API call So by this way we can upload the token by this way we can upload the file on the Google Drive using JMeter file has been uploaded again so every time I run this test plan I am able to generate the token as well as file will be uploaded here on the Google Drive so this complete process is automated and we are not doing anything manual by this way we can upload the file on the Google Drive I hope it will help you to understand OAuth.